morning, Vlogmas. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. Good, af good afternoon. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on my couch. <laughs> my hair's not having it today. <laughs> I don't know what its problem is, but... <sighs> yes. So I wanted to talk a little today. Today is... Well, I wanted to talk a little bit about Vlogmas, so... I know technically Vlogmas is supposed to be you film on that day and then you upload it, but with all the traveling I know I'm going to be doing, I wanted to get ahead of that because my laptop is not at the ability to edit on the go just yet. So I actually started Vlogmas on the 25th. So these are um, approximately five days prior to the actual day. And so like my street meet was actually the end of November street meet. There'll probably be another one in Vlogmas for the December. Um, and any other events. But I thought that the day after Thanksgiving is Christmas enough and I can start posting them on the first. This is more of an experiment to see if I can, it's more of like an exercise rather than, it's, it's, it's an exercise, not an experiment. It's an exercise to see if I can upload and commit to um, creating videos and getting into a rhythm of um, filming, editing, uploading, all that fun jazz and a half. Um, and it also is going to be a lot casual and um, maybe you'll get to know me a little bit more and it will give me an excuse to go out and do some exciting things because then I can film them. And I, I do have it, I have three trips planned in December to go out and to do. Um, that'll be really fun to film and explore and do all of that jazz. Um, so for today, I need to get some more decorations because I didn't buy enough Christmas lights for <laughs> both. <laughs> I didn't get enough Christmas lights for both the wall and for my Christmas tree. The Christmas tree lights only go up like once or twice at the, at the base of it. <laughs> so I'm gonna get one or two from Target. And I figured while I'm out, I'm going to do some filming and finally use the rig. Um, not the rig. Finally use a stabilizer. Is it, is it called a rig? Is it still called a rig? And take some footage, do some time lapses at Pier 66, and do a walkthrough with the stabilizer of the park. That's right there, Sculpture Park. There's a sculpture, I've been to Sculpture Park several times, and every time I go, I realize that I haven't seen something. And so there's this really cool sculpture with a bunch of boxes and cubes and stuff that I haven't seen, so, and I know why, because Sculpture Park is kind of, there are several paths within Sculpture Park, there are several paths. It's easy just to kind of like follow one and then um, cross certain streets and you're going down. It, it's, it's really easy to miss things because you're trying to be very beeline about it and if you uh, are just kind of perusing, you can miss some things, so there's a Sculpture area that I haven't seen that I want to go check out. I tell you, I love going on like Instagram or whatever and finding new places to go check out and I'm always baffled at the places that I've been and I'm like, I've been there. I've been there several times. How have I not seen this thing? <laughs> I'm thinking that I should hook up the stabilizer before I go. I don't know. I don't like the idea of that being all the way up front. to move the weight forward. Okay, no, that worse. This is all prepped. Let's go take some time lapses and whatnot. like I have the roof all to myself.
so it is a lovely sunny day today which is always a blessing uh, this past weekend Seattle has been in full form for its typical winter weather so anytime we can see this amount of sky look at all that. after like September is a gem I do think this is as long as I'm going to stay at this pier though. We'll go get some good views when we get down and go to Sculpture Park. Can we stop? Please? I haven't been before over normally I don't walk over here normally I tend to walk down there that leads you to Myrtle Edwards Park yeah I haven't been here before okay I don't okay we'll see what those are we're in the valley apparently um, but yeah this is a uh, brought on by the Seattle Art Museum. And you'll see a lot of stuff around here notating that. Is this called, I think this is called the wave. I guess I could see how this would be a very interesting place to take some pictures. I think I should have watched a tutorial, so I will probably do that today or tomorrow to try and learn how to use this better. It got super sway, and uh, I imagine I put the footage of it before this. It looks like it's like five, six o'clock at night, but nope, we are, oh wow, a bunch of really cool rays out there. Let me see if I can get them on this. Yeah, looking nice, anyway. It looks pretty late in the day, but it's actually only about three o'clock. Yeah, quarter after three. So I'm gonna go run that errand at Target.